pictures. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small that makes you doubt. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The electric kettle. That's four. Uh, Come on, Tom Thomas, just one more. Uh, Come on now, Tom Thomas. I know you can do it. Five. Uh, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. No, your chin was below the bar. Whew, that's all. I can't do anymore. You weakling. You're the weakling. I'm not. I just haven't eaten in a while, and that's why I lost my strength. You're a slave to food, Tom. And you see, that's the difference between us fixies and you humans. Many people wrongly assume that the only way fixies could live is by stealing food off of humans' tables. Or worse yet, by stealing it from their refrigerators. That's just a lie. It's not true at all. Fixies don't eat any kind of human food. So then where in the world do the Fixies get their energy, you're wondering? It's very simple. A Fixie's entire life is connected with devices. Fixies not only live inside of devices, but they take care of them and help them live longer. And in return for their help, these devices share part of their energy with the Fixies. So there you go. The Fixies help devices, and devices help the Fixies. Yes, we Fixies and machines have a symbiotic relationship. So we don't eat leftovers like cockroaches, because we're Fixies. One, two, three, whoa! How's it possible that a big boy like you doesn't know how to make any food for himself? I'm able to cook, but I'm not allowed to turn on the stove. What can you make without it? Oh, yes. We have instant oatmeal. Look. Do you like oatmeal? You're joking. Only my folks say oats are healthy and make you stronger. Great. Well, then how do you cook it? It's not hard. All you got to do is add hot water, and I'm allowed to turn on the kettle. Stop and check if there's water in there. If there's none, you can burn out the kettle. It's got enough. Then you can turn it on. Hey, tell me, how does the kettle turn off? I mean, how does it know when the water's hot enough? Inside of an electric kettle, there's a heater hidden underneath its bottom. When you turn on the kettle, the heater warms up the water until it boils. And the boiling water gives off steam that heats up a special metal plate at the top of the kettle. The heat causes the metal plate to bend, and that turns off the switch. So you could say that an electric kettle feels when the water's boiling. Okay, now I understand. Hey, why do you need three bowls? You don't need to make any oatmeal for us. It's not for you guys. It's for my mom and dad. Start out here. No! Keep pouring into this one. And I say pour it here. And I say first you should pour it into mine. Oh, Nolik, where are you? I'll find him. Hang on, I'm going in. Ah, Simka! She was right over here. Ah. <sighs> Nolik! Over here. Simka! Here. Nolik! There. Where is your other boot? It got lost. Up there in the oatmeal. That must be your parents. Let's get out of here. Hey, and what about your shoe? Don't worry. I got another one. Hi, Tom Thomas. We're back. You must be hungry. We'll make you something to eat. But I already prepared us some food. And the water's already hot. Wash your hands. Tom Thomas, don't touch that kettle if it's hot. I don't want you to burn yourself. So, today, we're eating oatmeal for dinner. Delicious. Uh, maybe you have something else? 
Why something else? You're the ones that say that oatmeal's great for you and that it makes us stronger. Well, yeah, that's what we say. I'm glad that our son pays such careful attention. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it delicious? Really? Huh, what's that? Oh, look, you found the boot, Dad. What? <laughs> Uh, it's nothing. Just eat your food and don't get distracted. I'd like to see that oatmeal all gone, okay? And whoever doesn't finish won't get any candy. They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters. MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them clocks stop ticking. Without them lights go out. Are you here? Yep, I'm here. I got a cool trick to show you. Whoa! Ugh. That was real magic, dude. Took long to learn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's not the trick. It's a trick with helium. Oh, uh, what is helium? Well, helium's a very light gas they fill balloons with so they float in the air. That's not magic at all, you silly. Who's never watched a flying balloon? The trick's not about the balloon flying. I need to get its gas. Ugh. How can I get it down from there? Get a hair dryer. That's the way to do it. Yeah, what for? So I can show you a trick. All right. Mom, can I use a hair dryer for a minute? A hair dryer is a great, simple invention. Inside a hair dryer is a fan that sucks in the air from behind it and pushes it out the front to blow your hair around and make it dry. To heat up the air, there's an electric coil inside of there. When the coil heats up, it warms up the passing air. And the hot air helps your hair dry faster. Of course, you don't have to turn on the heat setting, but then you better like that cold wind. Nolik. I'm right here. Here's the dryer. I want to see your trick. All right. Flip the switch. Now you lay the ball right into the airstream. Oh, great. The ball's flying. And now it's my turn to fly. Really? Whoa. Yeah. I'll shoot right up to the ceiling so I can grab the string and pull the balloon down. So turn off the heat and away I go. Probably because you're little and weigh like nothing. And what? Do I have to wait till I'm heavier and older to get down? I don't know. Then you'd better get my sister. She'll tell us what to do. Simka, come on out. Well, what's going on? Look. Hi there. How'd you end up on the ceiling? I was just showing off that funny hair dryer trick. I'm laughing out loud. Ha, ha, ha. I can try flipping on the hairdryer and lifting you up to Nolik. So both of us can get caught hanging up there? Well, thanks, but I don't need it. Then what do you need? Just a broom or a mop. You know how to do a trick with a mop? Uh-huh. Just make it fast. They can be quite ingenious creatures, those humans. Sometimes they figure out clever ways to use ordinary devices, like the hair dryer. Of course it can be used to dry hair, but it can also be used to dry a wet spot on clothes. And a hair dryer can even be used to remove a sticky price label. Now suppose you buy yourself a new cup that has a terribly sticky sticker that just seems impossible to peel off. 
Well, try warming it up with a hair dryer. The glue will dry up a bit and the label will come off easier. There's no doubt that a hair dryer can be very useful in any household. But you need to be extremely careful with it, especially in the bathroom. If water gets inside a hair dryer, there's a real risk of getting a horrible electrical shock that can seriously hurt you and destroy the hair dryer as well. working after just a couple seconds. <laughs> That's good, because such a humongous fixie couldn't fit inside any machine. <laughs>